What's happening, YouTube? Today's video is all about painting a custom snapback hat from your imagination. So make sure you hit the subscribe button for more. Hit the bell if you want to know when I publish new videos. And let's get to it. So basically, I use pretty much a generic snapback hat and I cover it in gesso, which I'm not showing here because it's kind of a laborious process. But uh, those of you who don't know, gesso is a, a medium that gives a, a, a good surface that the acrylic paint can stick to. And so I've been doing tons of these hats over the last three years and, and definitely my skills have uh, become to the next level. Whoa. <laughs> there was some of my uh, uh, crochet creatures that uh, a lot of fans online have uh, crocheted of my creatures. Uh, but I've been doing these hats and uh, learning a lot about what could be done. I originally didn't want to do them with gesso because I thought it would be too heavy for your head, but it seems to work out and it allows me to uh, do way much more detail. And a lot of what you get is a lot of canvas bleed. Uh, when you're painting on uh, materials and hats like this. So the gesso is really good because it pretty much fills in all those uh, holes that can leak through and it leaks through light. Uh, the tool I'm using right now is one of my favorite artillery tools. Oh, I just moved to the uh, some uh, fine liner ink pens, but I do a lot of the original sketches all in uh, big ballpoint pens. And uh, they're some of my favorite pens because they act a lot like a pencil, but you, you can get that ink, permanent ink line and get really dark with it. And then uh, basically I use some fine liners and now I'm using uh, a paint pen. You can use any paint pen and I'm using a black. And uh, I decided to do this one more like, you know, do the outlines and get the inking in and then start to paint it. And a lot of times I'll switch it up. I'm gonna start making a lot of full length, step-by-step -step videos on Skillshare. So if you're on Skillshare, or if you need a link, I'll provide one down below um, for a 14 day premium membership. But basically uh, gonna go through the whole process and each time I learn more and more and my ultimate goal is to make it like a canvas and get it to the point where I lay in a lot of flats and then I just am allowed to just paint and uh, don't do a lot of like, you know, commercial professional techniques. I really like to get into the painting process and uh, a lot of times I'm doing these as I did this as a commission for a, a glass blower in Missouri and uh, that's why it's an owl and it's a creature I created for him. And uh, you can see all the different uh, <laughs> glass blowing uh, references and, and graffiti and hip hop. And then it has, uh, of course, my yokai creatures. It has a Yamabiko down there and a Tatsu. But yeah, this is going to be, uh, I think, a several part because I'd like to show the whole thing all the way to the end. And um, that's where it gets really intricate because I start filling in everywhere and I do full coverage of these hats. So I start doing blends and uh, all traditional acrylic uh, painting techniques. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe, that bell icon, and uh, look me up on Twitch, Patreon, Skillshare, Instagram. I'm all over the place. Uh, there's links down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you real, real soon.